There are three distinct periods in William de Morgan's ceramic practice. The first is known as the Chelsea period, when de Morgan created smaller tiles and plates from his home on Cheney Row in Chelsea. He had studio and working space on the top floor of his property where people would paint the tiles to his designs, kilns in the garden and orange house at the end of Cheney Row, which was his showroom and sales room for the tiles. In 1882, William Morris persuaded him to take up premises out at Merton Abbey near Wimbledon, where Morris already had Merton Works. De Morgan was there for six years until 1888, when the commute to Merton got a little bit too much for him. He then moved the factory to Sands End in Fulham, which was a purpose-built factory. Around the same time, he also took out premises on Great Marlborough Street, just opposite Liberties, to sell the amazing ceramic wares he was now making by this point. And this beautiful cherub and dove towel panel is one that was for sale in the Great Marlborough Street shop. We know this because it has an original sales sticker on the back of it, adhered to the wooden supports that the tiles are fixed to. This picture is particularly important in the story of the de Morgans in Chelsea, as it demonstrates um, de Morgan being able to expand his business into having a showroom on very fashionable Great Marlborough Street. The reason he was able to obtain that is because Evelyn de Morgan gave him a very generous gift of £3,000 when they were married from her own private wealth, which helped to set up the factory in Fulham and also to set up the Great Marlborough Street showroom. Supposedly, the de Morgans would host parties there on Sundays where people would drink out of red luster teacups. 